Yeah, so we are um, we we are in Jufure, um, in Alberta, and right now we are in Jufure, the home of Kunta Kinti. So we are coming to get into this life museum, and this life museum is very important. There are a lot of things that were founded on the island, and they took them from Saint James Island or Kunta Kinti Island. Now they bring them to the slave museum where people can find them there. So as now we are going, there are a lot of things here which are very important. And we are coming to see some of the symbols, likewise families, how they captured them in the village here and the way they put circles on part of their body. And some people, they collect them um, in, um, in three miles away from the village. So those people also, when they are transporting them to the island, many of them died. So those are the ones we're going to see now and get into the slave museum from there. We're going to visit the home of Kunta Kinte. Okay, then from there, we are going back to the boat, okay? Yes, my brother, so lead us in. His name is Lamin. Lamin. Yeah, so now we're going inside of the slave museum. And this one is located in Jufure. So you can see some of the symbols here. Like in those days, our ancestors, they lived in grass houses. So the Europeans will come in the middle of the night while people are sleeping on bed. They start setting fire into one of their house. They burn that house into us. That make a lot of people to come out, try to know what is going on. So during that time, they'll be capturing the whole family or the whole village will be kidnapped in those days. So you can see the example how they captured people. So this is, a, this is a father, that's the father, that's the mother, and that's the baby of three months. So this is the way they suckle them, the neck of the father to the mother's neck, and there they will take them to the Portuguese trading site in the area, which is 70 meters away from the village. There they will spend fortnight. After spending fortnight, they will take them to the island, and the man will, and the wife, and the man and his family will be separated on the island. They will put them in the same prisons. So the one on the wall also you can see when they collect them uh, from three miles away from the village and they are transporting them to the island. That's the way they put suckle on part of their family, uh, on, on their body. This is also a family. You can see the mother, father, and one of their son. So this, these people, they captured them three miles away from the village and when they are transporting them to the island, many come them, many of them, they become hydrated on the way they fall down the, and they died. So some will die because of the heaviness of the circles. Some will die because of the long distance walking. So the building itself was built here by the British around 1840, and it was used as, um, uh, as you know, uh, as their, it was used as their trading post. So later it was used by two Lebanese traders called Morel and Frest. So in 1996, the government renovated it and they make it as a very impressive slave museum today. So from here, we are going to see inside of this slave museum. Yeah. Bro, you do So right here we are right here inside of the slave museum now. Yeah. We are inside of the slave museum. So these are the captains, those transport the Gambian slaves, the Senegalese slaves to from um, Kunta Kinti Island to um, directly to America. So you can see them, the Gambian Indians. So Board there you can see the European will come and kidnap the king 
and forced the king to give them slaves. So like in those days, um, the Americans in America, we had you know, many peoples, they said the Gambian is our old people who sold them to the Europeans. But according to the history in the Gambia here, that have never been established here. Because the Gambian kings, according to the history in those days, they don't have power or, um, or selling their peoples. So they were not even armed. When they want to fight, they use sticks and cutlass. So the Europeans were very armed with guns. So they will just come inside of the village. They start kidnapping the king. And whatever they ask the king to do, so he's dead or alive, so the king will take him out. And the king also will see the, king, the people who are called councillors of elders, who are working together with the king. So there the councillors of elders will go each, in each compound, they will collect a strong man and give it to the Europeans. Sometimes they use their own power to capture our own people. You can see the ones that are selected and they are supposed to be transferred to America. Yeah. These are some of the original shuttles. They are all collected from the island. All these were used on slaves. So this is for the hand, and that's for the. There's no way that's you can the, you can have this on and walk. Yeah. For, for more than a they, few minutes. This one they peg them on the ground. That's why you see. Yeah, but even like animals. Yeah. Even when we look at the neck right there. Who can wear this around their neck? No one. Yeah. It just so shows you family how strong our ancestors were, but it also shows you how sick uh, the white devils were that stole our people. And what we got here, yeah, like we're talking about conditions of slavery. And finally, for those who are watching, you can just always pause and read the documentation that we have. So, these are also used by the Europeans, sometimes they use sticks to put on their necks. And we have the triangular slave trade, whereby the bogey started from Africa to America, America to Europe, Europe to Africa. So that's called the triangular slave trade. You can see the biggest plantation in America. And the products that the Europeans were bringing to Africa to so that they can able, they, um, these are the products they bring to Africa they start fooling our ancestors. Yeah. 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 Some of the weapons here, these are all collected from the island. Mm. These are the weapons that were used by the Europeans. They used this to go for slaves to capture peoples in those days. So this is why many Africans or many Gambians were captured. It was because of the guns, because of their armless. You can see the branding irons, the circles, the whips that they were using on them. This is whipped, foot, footlock, branding irons and the handcuffs for the elder one and the young ones. Yeah. Right, and family, I just want to show you some of these exhibitions real quick. And our tour guide will continue. Let me get us from over here. And family, it's a lot of information, so please pause. And just uh, read through the uh, details. Unless you can uh, read super fast.
And this is the replica of Punta Kente Island. And this is what we saw earlier. That's the model. That's the model, okay. This sign has not been changed, but uh, James Island now is called Kunta Kente Island. So when you see that, it's uh, the same situation. And how accurate, how accurate is this uh, story of uh, James Island? I see a very incredible timeline of uh, a little bit less than 400 years. Is there a way we can get some light? And just a little bit. Family, let me do that. Uh, we can close it back. Yeah, it, uh, it's still, it's just sometimes a text of. in the Gambia region. So this Gambia river, this is it right there, right? No, oh, the, the small one. Mm -hmm. This is the Gambia river right here. Uh, this mm -hmm. was the ancient map. Of okay, which one? one? This the small one is the Gambia river? Yeah, here you have Gambia river, very small. And which one up on top? Right. These are employers like kingdoms. You know, Africans who have lots of kingdoms in those days. You have Mali, Empire, Ghana Empire, Shanghai. You see? So, people who are living in kingdoms. Kingdoms. Yeah, and these kingdoms were ruled by kings. Oh, okay. Uh, but that's way here to go over right there. Yeah, there's people here. There's many people you know, like Africa. You know, they just like that. Yeah. Yeah. So here you have Ghana. Alright, cool. This is alright, yeah. So these are the kingdoms. Sierra Leone. Okay, so this is this is the Gambian river here, you see? Yeah. You can see, yeah. And this is here is James Island. Why the that there? That's the Ghana River below. And the other one up top is the Senegal River. It's the Senegal River. Yeah. Damn, this, that's a, that river must be huge. Yeah, Senegal River? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 1700 yeah. yeah. yards. Yeah, that was a huge. 15 miles. How many? So, these are also some of the circles they put nice. on the leg like, of the slides. This is wickedness. Yeah, this is the So. They put this on their legs so that they will never ever yeah, yeah. escape from the forest. This happened in San Domingo. And you can see the average the slaves that were transported in different parts of America and Europe. From 1650 to 1860. Yeah. They put them on the deck of the sea, and this is the way they assemble them on the deck with their circles. So, this journey took them three months before they reached America 
So and also even before they went to America, almost half of the same. They will all die because of their condition inside of the same. So this is the way they brand them with hot irons on chests. So sometimes they overload it. This is why when they reach with slaves to the Atlantic Ozone, many of them they start jumping from the boat to the river. Because they don't know where they are transporting them and they feel to die there. So this is upscale and downscale. This is the way the Cryptus also pack their slaves inside of their sea. So these are things that were also collected from the islands. These are the gates that were founded from the slave woman, the smoking pipe for the Europeans, and all this uh, belongs to the European traders. There is also a book here. This book is the, um, uh, the name of the repatriated slaves. It contains the name of the repatriated slaves. The ones that were brought back to Africa after the abolition of the slave trade. Uh, let me get, uh, let me show you some of the abolition footage. So this is the one yes, uh, this is the one you're telling us about uh, Uzman. Yes. Did someone say there's also a museum there? Oh, did I? Six Vaticans in Banjo. Yes. 
Yes, then we call him Sam in the morning. Oh, brother, it look like I got all of this out here. Yeah. So, the new generation yeah. exhibit. When we get it into the new generation, uh, we can see the power of Kundakiri. People like Alex Eli, who came here in 1973. That was the year the family was dressed out in the village. So, we went back to America and came in 1977. We started making the movie of Roots in the Black here. So that's Binta Kinte, the uh, cousin sister of Kunta Kinte, Alexei aunt. So and you have the, the, the village here, the, the home of Kunta Kinte. You can see people live in grass houses in those days with a deep forest. So this is the, uh, the day Alexei came to find the history of where Alex Kunta Kinte was born. This man told him all the history about the family and how he was captured in the village here. And that's the whole family here today. Yeah. 
Alright, so this is the and this is the uh, diaspora family. Yeah, the, family. Yeah, the, the ones that live in America, right? Yeah, in America. Many of them, their families come from Ethiopia. So these are general pictures of um, black people, professionals and black scholars and organizers and business people. Yeah. Like the sign said, new generation. My brother. This one is like the Black Power Salon. Mm -hmm. It's talking about freedom, huh? Yeah, that's the freedom hall. So we are all free now. That's what he's saying. Freedom. So that's the end of the reason now. Excellent, my brother. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. and that's the way they sold the enslavement. Yeah, you see, this is the way they advertise them. So again, in slave markets. Alright, so family, I hope you enjoy this historical journey. Bro, okay. As far as. Yes, my brother. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for keeping the museum open for us. Okay, thank you. And is that a donation box? Yeah, it's a donation box. Alright, yeah. perfect. That work. support our own uh, history if we are to educate, learn from our past and go to be strong and build a future, incredible generation for our children to come. Okay. okay. So family, what I want to do, give me a second, what I want to do is just get, try to get everybody a feel of where this is. I wish I had a million t-shirts and I'd pass them all around because everyone is liking the energy because that's what no, it's really, the, the, it's, a, the, it's really this the, the energy, the colors. Yeah, the color is so beautiful. Uh, we have X, X, X. Oh no, no, they're made for our groups, <laughs> but I honestly um, wish I had more. I would give them away. It's huh? a family. All right, now 